Caitlyn Jenner and Lamar Odom take a page out of QTK book for new project. Lamar Odom and Caitlyn Jenner are taking their talents behind the mic. According to new reports, the former in-laws are teaming up to launch a new podcast promoting sports. Titled Keeping Up With Sports, the podcast pays tribute to the iconic Keeping Up With The Kardashians show, on which both Odom and Jenner have appeared. Lamar Odom and Caitlyn Jenner set to rock the sports world with their new podcast. Odom has joined forces with Jenner for his latest venture which aims to provide a unique perspective on the true essence of greatness in sports. The partnership appears to be a perfect fit for the pair as Jenner is renowned for her Olympic gold medal win in 1976, while Odom boasts two NBA championship rings from his time with the Los Angeles Lakers. Even more exciting is that the co-host and director, Zach Hirsch, will join the duo. The formidable trio are set to launch their debut episode in the impending weeks, featuring boxing legend Sugar Ray Leonard as their premier guest. In an exclusive sneak peek video shared by TMZ, Sugar Ray courageously opens up about his past as a survivor of sexual abuse by one of his trainers, revealing the emotional weight of finally speaking his truth after years of silence, the occasional actor confessed, I was hurting. Other guests set to grace keeping up with sports include world champion boxer Zab Judah, CBS basketball analyst Seth Davis, model Amber Rose, professional stuntman Steve O, boxer Bryce Hall, and UFC fighter Patty the Batty Pimblet. Notably, Odom was married to Khloe Kardashian and often appeared on the show as part of the renowned Kardashian-Jenner family. His appearance on QWTK occurred during Jenner's marriage to momager Kris Jenner. Why did keeping up with the Kardashians end? Despite the longevity of KUTK, fans were shocked when the Kardashian-Jenner family announced that it was ending in 2021 after 13 years. Kim Kardashian took to Instagram to break the news, sharing a joint statement signed by herself, her mom, Kris, sisters Khloe, Kourtney Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, and Kylie Jenner, brother Rob Kardashian, and former in-law Scott Disick. In the note, the family disclosed their decision to conclude this significant journey and thanked their fans for accompanying them through the good times, the bad times, the happiness, and the tears. Despite the clan's united front, subsequent reports alleged that certain members, including Kim, Courtney, and Kylie, had considered walking away, ultimately leading to the show's cancellation. While this update did not shock many, considering Courtney's break and on screen alterations with her sisters, the family promptly denied the claims. Lamar Odom's drug addiction led to the collapse of his marriage to Khloe Kardashian. Fans will recall that Khloe and Odom exchanged vows just one month after meeting at a party for Odom's teammate, Meta Sandiford Artist. Initially, their celebrity union soared to great heights, even earning them their own reality series, Khloe and Lamar, which aired from 2011 to 2012. However, their fairy tale romance took a sharp turn in 2013 when the good American founder filed for divorce. As it turned out, Odom's battles with addiction and alleged infidelity ultimately led to the demise of their relationship. Over the years, Lamar has repeatedly apologized to his ex-wife, and he did so again in the newly unveiled trailer for his documentary, Lamar Odom, S.S. Drugs and Kardashians, which premiered on January 2nd on Fox News. Lamar Odom, we can't hide that forever. In a trailer for the show's inaugural episode, the former professional basketball player candidly discussed his struggles with drug use and addiction throughout his marriage to Chloe. As The Blast observed, he delved into how his addiction ultimately led to the deterioration of their relationship. Reflecting on his struggles, Lamar candidly confessed to Harvey Levin, Drugs was my girlfriend. I had a wife and cocaine. 
When pressed about whether Chloe was aware of his drug use during their marriage, the 44-year-old acknowledged that he eventually had to come clean, stating, For part of our marriage, I had to tell her. We can't hide that forever. Where was Caitlyn Jenner during Kim's SS tape saga? In case you missed it, shortly before QWTK was set to launch in 2007, a sex tape of Chloe's sister, Kim, surfaced online. With it came shock and instant fame for the Kardashians, as they became a sensational headline across the tabloids. While the family has made it a point not to speak about it publicly, Caitlyn touched on it during her appearance on Sky's House of Kardashian docuseries. The college football player recalled retreating to the serenity of the country club when she heard about the intimate recording. Thinking back on her mindset at the time, she expressed, Whatever's happening, I'm not sure, but I'm heading to the golf course. Caitlin then admitted that she just stayed out of the drama, which was a pretty easy task since his then-wife Chris and stepdaughter Kim never talked about it with him. I'm unsure of what occurred or why. The 74-year-old added before vehemently denying any involvement in helping Kim release the video to the public. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like comment to help us out.